All right, Power Ranger fans, regarding once and always, one of the plot points that some fans have been criticizing is the hypocrisy from Billy and Zack when Min wants to become a ranger and they tell her no. But the thing is, they were teenagers with attitude at one time as well. Min even brings this up. But the thing about it is, is a couple of factors we need to put into, you know, consideration. Number one, these two are full grown adults at this point. And based on, you know, just the characters from what we've seen, I think it's safe to assume Zach doesn't have any children or is married, nor is Billy, even though that one girl from uh, Aquatar, it's unknown whether or not they were actually married at some point i mean she was brought up in this special but that's about it uh you know zach of course you know he took over lead um legal guardianship over men and then he moved into you know trini's old house so it's safe to say that you know he doesn't have a family of his own that he would need to uproot from his career uh you know being uh what, what was it uh, a congressman to you know come live in angel grove again yeah i'm pretty sure it's angel grove where men is living uh, Billy, you know, he's traveling from planet to planet. So again, he probably doesn't have a family of his own, but he's always busy doing this, that, and the third. But the thing is, they are adults and they know more now than they did when they became rangers. And something else to take into consideration is the fact that men is like, well, I want to be a ranger to get revenge and whatnot. And the thing is, when everybody would tell her no, it's like, well, what about what I want? My choice. I wish there would have been somebody to drop the line that Tommy did to Elsa in uh back in black and dino thunder you know about the whole thing about dino gems they don't you don't choose them they choose you one aspect that i really wish was brought up to men was the fact that zach billy and the original ranger team they were chosen i mean tet yeah i mean you could argue yeah they were technically abducted slash kidnapped i mean they were teenagers so kidnapped is appropriate by Alpha and Zordon when Rita's dumpster was, um, or space dumpster was open and she was unleashed, you know, back into the universe after 10,000 years. And Zordon said, pick five teams with attitude. And then they were whisked away to the command center. Zordon explained the situation, gave them their power morphers, and they were like, okay, this is pretty weird. And then they just randomly walked out. Then, of course, Rita sent down the putties and then they attacked and then jason's like hey you know i think it's time to use these morphers and then they transformed kicked butt fought goldar got in the megazord and then they went back to the command center then after the fact zordon was like so hey are you guys still in and then of course everybody said yeah kimberly had the joke about the helmet hair and then they agreed to be rangers there's a major difference between that versus i want revenge for my mom and keep in mind, like Billy said, Zach, we've ne our, our team has never dealt with anything like this before regarding losing one of their own and how to deal with the ramifications of how do we tell Trini's daughter? Who's going to take care of Trini's daughter because there's nobody else? So I get it. And not to mention the biggest blow here was that, and this is a moment I wish Billy had because even though men has every right to be angry with him, he is indirectly the cause of Trini's death, but he isn't the direct cause. Trini decided to throw herself in the way of that blast to save her friend. And I'm not saying like, dang, I mean, because Billy was going to bite it. If Trini did not do what she did, Billy would be dead. But keep in mind here. Billy should have had that moment, you know, where men was like ripping into him. I think this was after the uh, uh, the fight in the graveyard where three of the Rangers got turned into figures. And then, you know, Billy, men and Zach ex escape. And then they were talking about how they need to take Rita, uh, you know, come up with a plan. And then she's like, men's like, yeah, what can we do to take her down? And it's like, wait, what do you mean we? And it's like, I want to get in on this. She killed my mom. And it's like, yeah, but you ain't got no powers or anything. man. I mean, you literally saw a Ranger team get bodied by rita well rita's um henchman what do you think you can do yeah you had a year of training with zach but that's not enough and not to mention i really wish billy would have said hey you know what he said at the juice bar hey you didn't tell me anything that i haven't told myself every day since your mother died saving me and i really wish billy was the one who was like look men you have every right to be mad at me but I'd rather you be mad at me here 
then you know you die in battle because of the fact that I deal with the guilt of what happened to your mom every day because of my mistake trying to bring back Zordon and instead brought back Robo Rita and as a result of that I don't know what I would do if I was indirectly the cause of my friend's daughter's death as well so please understand I will do everything in my power to make sure Robo Rita pays for what she did. We just want to keep you safe. I think that would have been great. But I get it. You know, it's 55 minutes. There's only so much time in the special. Men would eventually morph at some point. But, you know, it just felt like her journey was a bit badly paced. Not at the fault of the character, but the writing in terms of there really wasn't enough time to sit on moments like that. But, yeah, I think when it comes down to it, um, Zach and Billy wanting to keep her out of trouble was, you know, made sense. But the thing is, more often than not, it just felt like two adults saying, hey, kid, go do your homework. This isn't, you know, your business, as opposed to breaking it down as to why it is important to keep her safe. So that's just my opinion. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Zach and Billy were being hypocritical or do you think they actually made sense? Also, yeah, I mean they were chosen and men just decided to pick up the morpher and you know use it but it didn't work and that makes it even dumber when she has this great moment after zach gives her a very 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 well written and well acted mentor father like scene where she basically instills in um men the uh you know morals and lessons that zordon placed in them when they were teenagers but then that got completely undercut when men le left the uh, command center just a few moments later, tried to use the morpher again and it still didn't work. And it's like, what did you expect? It didn't work because you didn't learn anything. You're still not chosen. It was stupid. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.